Hi guys, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me today. Now today we're on day two of Christmas in July and we're going to be making this Nordic um, Scandinavian themed box. Now inside, I'll show you what's inside later in a minute. Um, let's quickly show you the stamp set. I'm using the Crafter's Companion Scandinavian Christmas by Sarah, da Sarah Davies and it's called Tis the Season. So this is, um, this is new out this month. And let's just open this. So I've kept the simple ribbon across the top. So I'm using the ribbons actually from the same collection. This is the Scandinavian ribbon uh, grosgrain pack. Okay, so inside we have some Thornton chocolates. Now I love Thornton's chocolates. These are my favourite. These fit perfectly inside the box. And then the lid fits on perfectly and then we stick the ribbon on. Okay, so today we're going to be making a Christmas green version. So let's clear the decks and then we can get started. Okay, so I have some Whisper White here from Stampin' Up! And I'm also using Stampin' Up!'s Garden Green. Now this measures, let's grab my notes here. Base measures 7 and 7 by 8 and a quarter. And the lid measures six and five sixteenths of an inch by five and one sixteenth of an inch. Don't worry about writing all that down. There'll be a coordinating blog post to go with this project. Okay, so let's grab our scoreboard. Okay, and we are going to score two inches all around. You may have wondering why I'm filming with all my lights on. It's night time and after the day I've had filming, day one, the neighbourhood was just too noisy. So I'm going to see how filming at night time goes. Okay, so with our lid, we're going to score at one inch all around. going to grab a spare piece of paper and I have a small foam mat here just to help with um, the photopolymer stamping and what I've done but everything's all stuck together here like, oh they're really stuck together there we go right so what I've done here is I've just on my grid mat, I've placed all of these stamps from the stamp set. There's, a still, there's still a few left on here, um, but I've taken most of them off and I've made like a montage of all of the um, my favourite ones. So I'm going to grab some garden green ink. I'm going to grab that lid as well. Up, so you can probably see these a lot better now so I'm just going to do a tester piece first before I stamp down I always try and do a tester piece before we go okay I'm happy with that so make sure that's not going to come off okay, and now we can start stamping so I'm going to start off being off the edge first so I'm now going to start tilting it where I need to. So we're going to go up here. Don't worry if there's any gaps. There's still a few stamps left over where we can fill any gaps in. So we're not all going um, for one direction here. We're going to be going in all sorts of directions. You could also make a matching card with the same background. So... It's worth keeping these on your stamp for a small amount of time while you're thinking what other um, projects that you can use this on. Okay, so now I've just got the edges now, so I'm just going to go in round there. Just filling in the gaps. Okay, so I have a couple of gaps here, 
So I'm just going to grab another block, another little block here. Uh, where's the stamp set gone? I'll put it down. Here it is. Right. There's a couple more on here I can take off. So there's this funny looking star here. So I'm going to use that. I think we're full up okay so let's clear the decks what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a baby wipe and clean everything off and then we'll be right back okay so I'm going to grab my bone folder and I'm going to just fold up all of these lines and burnish them down scissors and then start trimming okay so I'm cutting to the left there of that score line so I'm just tapering it off and cutting the score line completely off and there we go and do the same on all four corners the same on the lid as well and then we can do our gluing all at the same time okay so I'm going to stick this together with some fast fuse oh, missed a bit There's the base stud. Let's do the lid. We have got a few lines here, so you may wish to stamp before you actually score. But for me, I tend to just get carried away and just score without thinking. Okay, so that's our lid done. Moment of truth. There we go, that fits. Lovely. So let's get our chocolates. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to go back to the ribbons. I don't actually have a garden green matching ribbon, so I'm going to go for the white ribbon here that comes in the pack. So it has got this extra little bit of um, adhesive here that just comes off. There we go, it's coming off. There we are. It's stuck on me now. A lovely set of ribbons here so these will probably last you quite a few projects so just to save on ribbon I am going to just tie a knot 
and then I'm going to trim it so it just looks like a bow and then it can slide off no fingers here, no thumbs it loose right let's start again I probably cut these too short actually it's probably why I'm having a bit of a struggle here there we go right pull that tight and then I'm just going to cut these at a slant just like so so it looks just like a little bow and that's going to slip on and off. Okay, so now we're moving on to our sentiment. I'm using this Merry Christmas. It's from the same stamp set. So I'm using the same stamp set for the whole thing. I have some Whisper White here. And I put my Garden Green away. Stamp that. Pop that under. dry off slightly. I need to trim that off now. Go into my trusty old paper trimmer. I've had this so many years now. There we go. Okay, I'm just eyeballing this. I don't have any exact measurements for this piece. So just go with it. As long as your lines are square and your corners are square and your lines are straight then you'll have no problem in doing the next bit. Okay so I have some more garden green here and all we're going to do is stick that on with a border. So I like to use Crafters Companions um, tape runner. So stick that down with the, with the border that you're happy with. So it's as even as you can get it on both sides and then grab your paper trimmer again and then cut your border Put another smidge off there we go yep happy with that Okay, so grab some dimensionals. Can't live without these. Okay, and then stick that on. Okay, let's clear the decks. Grab this one as well. Okay, so which one do you prefer? The red or the green? Pop it in the comments below and, and let me know. I think I like the red more. Yeah, I think I like the red, but the green's nice. They look nice together. Okay, so I have a very exciting project um, tomorrow for day three. And I hope you'll join me. Um, if you don't want to miss any of this series, um, please do subscribe. And I'll see you again tomorrow.